Hello everyone, my name is Kai, and today's video is something that has taken me so long to plan out and try to do. So today I'm going to be fan casting musicals. Now, if you don't know what fan casting is, it is a fan of a show is casting other actors as those characters. And it doesn't have to be the people that are currently playing them on Broadway or in their run, but that's kind of how it goes. Um, for today's, I'm going to be doing Beetlejuice, and the reason I chose to cast Beetlejuice um, was because uh, about a week ago, maybe, um, we got the news that Beetlejuice will not be at the Winter Garden Theater anymore um, because of the closures due to COVID-19 and the whole pandemic thing going on, and it sucks, but um, we still get to enjoy it because it's not like they're removing all their videos off the internet or taking down the music. What's really happening is just they have to close because there's going to be someone more, someone else's show going in there, and hopefully one day we'll get to see Beetlejuice back on Broadway. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be fan casting all of a bunch of these Star Kid actors into Beetlejuice, and let's just get right on into it. So as preparation for this video, I wrote everything down in my journal because I film on my phone because I can't afford a camera yet. Um, yeah, but let's start off with the character of Barbara. Now, Barbara is one of the tenants of the house that Charles and Delia will eventually buy um, later on in the musical. Um, and I want Barbara to be played by Rachel Soglin. Um, you would know her from Twisted, um, Trail to Oregon, and Firebringer. Um, the reason I particularly put her as Barbara is because of how she did as like that motherly and care like caring feature that she did in uh, Trouble Oregon by Star Kid and just that's always her that character she played always has always resonated with me and she, she did a really good job and she also did a really good job in Firebringer as her character I forget her character's name but she played the one that like tasted everything I totally forgot that character's name it's blowing over the top of my head right now but both of those has made me choose her to be Barbara. Right. And next on my list, I'm literally just going in order that my list says. Um, next on my list is Beetlejuice. I might spark a lot of controversy on this, but um, a lot of people would say that Beetlejuice would be played by Jeff Blim. Now I understand that because he can be a, a bit of a gremlin at times and he's a really good villain, but I'd honestly give this to John Madison. Um, the reason I give it to John is mostly because he killed it as like the voice of Wiggly and I'd like to see what he could do in more physical aspect and not just the voice acting aspect like he had to do in Black Friday as Wiggly. So that's why I chose John to be Beetlejuice. Next up is Lydia. And now <laughs> Lydia was easy before like when I chose to do this I'm like Lydia is going to be this person. Um, the reason I chose this person to be Lydia is because they are so young, but their voice and their acting is so mature and it's amazing. It's just, ugh, incredible. So for Lydia, I chose to be Kendall Nicole Yakshi. Yakshay? I don't know how to pronounce your last name. I'm so sorry if you ever see this. But Kendall is Lydia because, again, for being 14 years old and having such a powerful voice... Um, it's amazing. Um, she played Hannah in Black Friday, if you guys are wondering what Star Kid show she's from. But again, she killed it as Hannah in Black Friday. And it was such an easy choice for me to put her as Lydia. Now, Adam is Barbara's husband and helps Lydia out with the whole Beetlejuice thing and the house thing. And I chose that to be played by Darren Chris. Now, Darren Chris played in the Very Potter musicals um, that the three Very Potter musicals that Star Kid has done. Um, uh, Darren basically was what off of I've seen, which has been clips from the very part of musicals. I have not seen them all fully. I am sorry. I just, not my interest. And also based off of what he had done in Glee, I felt that it fit Adam's character really well. Um, so that's why I put him as Adam. Now Charles is, um, Lydia's dad. And I gave that to Robert Mannion. And the reason I gave it to Robert is because he played the professor in The Guy Who Didn't Like Musicals. He did really good as like that older figure that tried to help out even though he was more insane. I feel like 
if he also brought that um, caring aspect that he played as Ethan Green in Black Friday and mixed that with that Professor Hitchens from the guy who didn't like musicals, it would just combine into a really, really good um, Charles. So I feel like that would work really well. Delia and Miss Argentina, I chose to be played by Kim Whalen. Uh, Kim made her debut in Black Friday um, as Becky Barnes. Now the reason I chose Kim was because of her, mostly her vocals and Delia and Miss Argentina, they have like really crazy vocal things and Kim is so good for being a soprano. Like I look up to her vocally and I just look up to her so much and she's just amazing and I've gone like I've done research on her and I've looked at her past projects and she's done such a good job and so I just really appreciate Kim as a being and that's why I chose her to be Antelia. Sky. Now if you guys have not heard the the Girl Scout song that was on TikTok, um, yeah that's who Sky is. The Girl Scout's name is Sky, and I chose it to be Lauren and um, if you remember Crapple from Child Oregon and how Lauren played a nine-year-old boy really, really well. I feel like if she just chanted that in the sky, dead set, perfect, vocals would work, um, acting would work. Yeah, so Lauren, I give Sky to Lauren Lopez. Otho or Otho, I don't know how to pronounce it. Yeah. Um, but I, that character is someone that is hired by, um, Charles and Delia to pretty much exercise the house. Yeah, I would give that to Joseph Walker. Um, Joseph was just really good in the very part of musicals and everything. I just really enjoyed him as a whole and I feel like he'd fit this character really well. I, that's, I don't know, really know quite specifics on how to describe him as a whole because he's just unique in his own little way. Um, and I also haven't seen him in a lot of things, so I can't really give a whole lot there. Based off of what I've seen, I, I have missed four Star Kid musicals, which I need to watch. But based off of what I've seen with him, Joseph Walker would make a good Otho or Otho. Maxie Dean is a party guest of um, Charles and Delia's housewarming party. And I give it to Dylan Saunders, um, mostly on how he did in... Uh, Black Friday because that's the most recent thing he's been in. He absolutely killed it. I forget his character's name even though I just watched it a few days ago. But um, yeah, definitely Dylan would go to Maxi Dean. So next up is going to be Maxine, Dean, and Juno. Uh, Maxine Dean is one name and then Juno is the other character. They're played by the same actress. Um, and I chose to give this to Meredith Stepien. And the reason I get, I'm giving it to Meredith is because of her character of Jamila in Firebringer. She just did a really good job at being like that, like, kind of like boss ass bitch that could be and also like rule a, a little like, a community. So she, she, she carried that character really, really well. And I feel like that character um, did really good for her to be able to play Maxine and Juno. So that's why I chose her for that. And then we have the ensemble. Now I'm, the reason I chose all these people for the ensemble is for the exact same reason and it's because they all have really really good qualities to them and they would do really well in pretty much all aspects of this show. AJ Holmes is the first one. He played uh, the heart in um, me and my... yeah we're gonna stick with that. He played the heart in that and did a lot of uh, piano stuff in some of their other er, in some of their earlier shows and killed it so um, AJ Holmes, um, we've got Angela, Angela Giratana, I hope I pronounced your last name right, I know I totally butchered that if I said it right, oh my gosh, I'm proud of myself, but, um, she played Lex Foster in Black Friday, and that was her, uh, Star Kid debut, and she killed it, so, put her into the ensemble here, Corey Doris, he was in, um, the guy who didn't like musicals, and he was also in Black Friday. He's also played the grandpa in um, The Trail to Oregon. Um, we've got Kurt Mega. Kurt had his debut um, to Starkid in Black Friday as the president um, in this show. He did a really good job. He's a really good tenor. So, um, so I throw him in here. James Tolbert. Um, 
James was in Black Friday and was also the choreographer for Black Friday. So, um, he's got the dancing. He, his voice is really, really stunning as well. Um, so I would shove him into the ensemble. Bonnie Grusin. Just, if you know how good she is, she was in, um, the very part of musicals before Meredith took over as Hermione. And just, we'll leave it as that. Bonnie's an amazing actress. I put Bonnie in there. Next we have Devin Little. Uh, she played, uh, mm, I forget her character's names, but um, yeah, she is also from BuzzFeed. Um, she left BuzzFeed to work at NBC. I believe it's NBC. If I'm wrong, I'll correct myself. But um, yes, Devin Little, I will put into this as well. Um, and now we've got the two next. We've got Nick Lang and Nick Cage. Um, not really anyway, they're just both really good in what I've seen them do. So we're gonna put them in this show. That is my fan casting for Beetlejuice the Musical um, with Star Kid actors. I really hope you guys enjoyed. I will leave the fan casting in the description down below. Um, so in case you missed somebody in here or you want to see who they all were in a big list, I will leave it in the description down below. But I believe that's going to be it for this video. Um, if you guys enjoyed it, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below anything that you're going to want to see me do in the future. And um, also, leave a like on this video so I know that you enjoyed this type of video. Because if you did, I will definitely, definitely film some more. Um, I do have some more ideas in here for this fan casting. So if you want me to um, film them and upload them, I definitely will. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, everyone.